In this lesson, we will look at the new features in Outlook 2016. Given the vast number of new features available in Outlook 2016, I'm going to cover these quite quickly. So let's start from the beginning. Groups from the Home tab. It's now easier than ever to create groups for mail or for contact purposes in general because there is a new groups and or contact groups button right on your home tab or you might have to navigate to the view tab to see yours. Either way, it's easier than it was in the past when you had to dig down several levels. Here in the home tab, you can see that under new items, more items, down here there are contact groups. You can add the standard group option as well too to this menu or if you right click you can add to your quick access toolbar which puts it up here and you can easily access groups and or contact groups. When you're in the contacts you can navigate here right on the home tab create new group. You might also see create new contact group. So these are now much more easily accessible than they have been in the past. And that's a big convenience for people who work with distribution lists and or groups in Outlook. Let's talk archive. If you've been using Gmail for a few years, or even if you're new to Gmail, you're probably quite familiar with the archive feature and not so familiar with the trash feature. Why is that? Well, Gmail has a belief that no emails need to be trashed. Instead, they are archived or put in a storage folder, if you will, called Archive. Archiving has finally been brought into the Outlook 2016 mail client. Archive allows users to move your messages to this archive folder without actually ever deleting them. Of course, the obvious advantage here is that these messages remain searchable for users who also use Outlook on their mobile devices as well, such as your tablet or your phone. These messages are available in the archive folder in the mobile device as well. So archive is not turned on by default. You must access it for the first time right here on the home tab in your inbox archive. When you select it for the first time, you will get the set up one click archive window. It says we didn't find an existing archive folder. Would you like us to create one now? And you can choose create archive folder or you can choose an existing folder. If you're bringing Gmail into Outlook, you can choose your existing Gmail archive folder if you want to. Otherwise, you can request Outlook to go ahead and create the archive folder here, and that will set up your archive folder for your use. Let's talk updates to email attachments. If I create a new mail here, now the revised attach button, which we're all pretty familiar with here, attach file or attach item, we'll stick with the attach file button for now. It's now available here at the top of the email you're composing and it allows you to access many of the documents that you've most recently been working on. So if you just wrapped up a report and you're ready to send it out, you start composing your email here. When you're ready to attach your report, you simply select the attach file button and guess what? The most recently accessed files will be listed here. Of course, you can still browse your PC or browse a web location for that file, but if you've recently been working on that report, you select Attach File. That report should be listed right here. Here's a few documents we were recently working on. We select these and they'll be attached to the email. This is a great new feature. Let's talk search. Search functionality, searching people, searching email, searching across all of Outlook has been improved by being faster and much more reliable, allowing you to search your email across your local folders, Exchange 2016, and Office 365 seamlessly. Additionally, Outlook 2016 makes finding email much easier by offering keyword and people suggestions based on your mailbox content from Exchange 16. You simply start typing someone's name or a keyword in the search field, and all related email content will be presented to you. Let's move on to clutter. That's right, clutter. Clutter helps you to move low-priority email messages out of your inbox so that you can easily scan for more important messages. Clutter is not junk. What do I mean by that? So clutter is sort of the halfway point between junk and the mail you need to read. Clutter is the items that sit in your inbox unread for some time. You want to read them, but you don't want to read them right now 
you want to read them later because they're not important. These things get moved to clutter. Or also, you notice, and you may not even be familiar with it, we're all familiar with the high importance button here. We may not be familiar with the low importance button. If somebody tags a message as low importance and sends that to you, more than likely that email will automatically end up in the clutter folder. A couple of other things happening in the background for Outlook 2016, new default fonts have been added that support Chinese and Japanese default fonts. They've been updated with a unified modern look and feel across all of the main Office 365 apps. These are Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and OneNote. Also updated is Email Address Internationalization, or EAI. EAI is an Outlook 2016 feature that allows you to send and or receive email from any email address, no matter the language of the email address. You will likely recognize this if you work with many foreign clients, like I often do. I receive a lot of content from Asia Pacific area. The emails come through and I can respond like any other email. The addresses are in Chinese or Japanese or Korean or whatever language of the sender, but the email operates the same. If you, on the other hand, own an international email address, you can also configure these email addresses and use them in Outlook 2016, just like any other email address. Currently, Outlook 365 doesn't support the creation of international email addresses at this time, but you can still use Outlook 365 to send and receive email to and from international email addresses. Last two items applicable to all Office 2016 applications. That is the new Tell Me feature. This is the great search and or help function available in all of the Office apps. Simply type what you're looking for in this field up here in the ribbon where the light bulb is. As soon as you start typing the field, it will bring up anything that's related to what it is you're typing. And you can quickly access that directly in this menu here. You can also get help on that topic down at the bottom. Lastly is new themes available in Outlook. You'll notice that my Outlook seems quite dark. I'm using the gray theme. You can access this by navigating to File, Options, coming down here to General. And under Personalize your copy of Microsoft Office, you can see down here Office Background, no background, but Office Theme, dark gray. There is black, which goes even darker than what I'm using. There's white, which is very bright. And then there's colorful. Colorful sort of the midway point, not so bright white. Has a blue. Banners is probably the most common, and I believe it's the default when you open the software for the first time. So that's uh, new themes available in Microsoft Outlook 2016. And that completes this lesson on the new features in Microsoft Outlook 2016.